Hello guys, hello. So, all right. So I am so happy to be here with you this evening. I'm sure you guys are getting ready for Thanksgiving and just uh, getting ready for the big day. Just tell me, you know, what you're doing. I'd love to know. But today in this topic, um, I really thought the topic would actually be, is gratitude and Thanksgiving the same? Okay. So is gratitude and Thanksgiving the same? Well, when I think of Thanksgiving, I'm going to tell you, the first thing I think about is turkey and food and family and gathering and praying and t basically saying what you're thankful for, right? But what exactly is gratitude? Well, gratitude is a feeling. It is an emotion. And I'm telling you, gratitude, it shouldn't just be you know, expressed on one day of the year, okay? Now, biblically, Thanksgiving is actually God's goodness of grace with gratitude. It's a day that you give goodness and grace to God and you thank him for all that he has done for you. But the thing is that I have learned that has unlocked a whole new world to me. It's made my life lighter and brighter and now I'm sharing it with you. Express your gratitude every day. Every day. Now, what is gratitude? Really, what is gratitude? Well, it's a feeling and it's a sense of love in your heart. That's what gratitude is. And having gratitude is basically being thankful for three things. And that is your past, your present, and your future. Having gratitude isn't always just being grateful for the good things in life not the big things in life. In fact, gratitude could also mean you're grateful for even some of the bad things in life or sad things in life, as well as you're grateful for the little things, right? Like a fresh, clean pair of socks or, I don't know, that corner of a brownie that you get on a pan or something or nice, clean sheets, right? Having gratitude for your past. Having gratitude for your past is simply being grateful for your past, perhaps even forgiving your past, and realizing that being grateful for your past helps you be grateful for your present right now. Now, oftentimes, I see a lot of people, even myself, I'm guilty of this, when it comes to gratitude, it's basically like your want, want, need, need. Like for me, for a while, it was like, okay, God, I'm ready for this. Okay, God, you know, I need this. I would like to make this. I would love to have this. But you want to know something? I was given those blessings, but I never said thank you in return. And I really needed to check that. So what I ended up, what I decided to do is I needed to be grateful for what I had. The whole keep up with the Joneses thing is so easy to do. You go to Home Goods and you're like, ooh, look at that, or you're on, you're on Amazon and you're like, ooh, I need that, or you look at other people's houses and you're like, oh, wow, like that is so nice. But the thing is, is having gratitude starts with having gratitude in your past, but then also having gratitude in your right now, this very moment. Rather, it's you waking up in the morning, you know, and you're getting ready, you're watching the sunrise, you have a cup of coffee in your hand, and then you're just like, wow, is this my life? I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Lord, for all of this. Thank you, Lord, for your wonderful love. Thank you. It's those tiny things, or it could be even a tiny moment with your child. It could be a, a moment with your husband or boyfriend. It could, it could be those, well, this is kind of cute, isn't it? This little mouse. Expressing gratitude is basically having love in your past, your present, and your future. And what you do is you carry your heart in love every single day, not just one day. And there will be tough days, okay? There are a lot of people right now struggling, struggling to the point 
Thanksgiving may not even be their favorite anymore because they are, they have been hurt so bad, they don't even want to acknowledge what to be grateful for. But the thing is, is you also can be grateful even in the tough times. You can. It starts with your present, your past, your present, and your future. So in the past, you can be like, okay, I'm grateful for this. And even though this was really, really tough, I'm grateful. And I'm staying positive about it. I'm acknowledging the emotion and I'm staying positive about it. And I have to move on, right? And you keep, you keep them in your heart. You keep that moment in your heart, but you, you basically are grateful for it. And maybe you decide that you want to choose to live stronger and have more of a voice and live, live more in gratitude than maybe what you currently did. So when you're in your present, what I like to do is I like to write what I'm grateful for every morning. It's a part of my morning routine. And I really reflect because reflection is great. But also, I like to say I'm grateful for where I am. I'm grateful for my life at right now. But I also would be grateful for growth in the future. I'm not just going to stand still and be stagnant. I'm actually going to move forward. Look forward. Grateful anticipation. That's another really, really big favorite of mine. This is kind of like the grateful anticipation as in God sends his messages to you. What does grateful anticipation look like? It could literally be someone paid for your coffee for you in the Starbucks line, in the parking lot, or in the drive-thru. Grateful anticipation could be you looking at a bird and you're just so peaceful. It's like when I was overseas, I was always looking at birds. That was my peace. It really reminded me of what I was grateful for, just looking at a beautiful bird. But even grateful anticipation could mean maybe a random check in the mail. It's happened. Or another, you get a phone call and you get a job. It's happened. You know, I'll allow you to pinpoint your grateful anticipations. But just know God is working and he's working for you and he loves you. But then another thing as well is when you're, when you have grateful anticipation and gratitude for right now, it actually increases your future. It, it creates more gratitude in your future, but it also creates a warmth in your heart. It creates more of a kindness. It, you actually start to appreciate the person who holds the door for you. You appreciate when someone cooks a hot meal for you, and instead of complaining, you actually say, wow, thank you. I'm so grateful. Another thing gratitude does is even if your coffee is hot or not hot, you won't complain about it at all. There are lots of unfortunate people out there. And something that I have learned it's so amazing to be around someone who's so grateful and they may not even have very much. But you know what? They're happy. They're grateful. It really just puts you down a couple steps. Instead of complaining about your coffee being cold or your food not having the right taste, I have a bed to sleep in. I have a home. I have food on the table. I have a loving husband. That, that's just some things that I can say. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for where I am and where I'm going. But none of this could have happened if I didn't have God in my life. So with, with it being Thanksgiving, I encourage you to think about what you are grateful for. But I also encourage you to start making gratitude, that sense of love in your heart, to practice it every day. Three things. Write down three things every day, every morning, whenever you can. It only takes five minutes. But having gratitude creates just a positive awareness, but it's also really good for your brain. It creates really good passageways for your brain. But having gratitude simply just makes the world lighter and brighter. It really does. 
And that's something that I can say. I want you to enjoy your meal. I want you to enjoy your family. But I also want you to hold near and dear of what you are grateful for. Like I said, it doesn't have to be huge. Yes, it adds up. The way I look at it is the little things add up to the big things. That's the way I look at it. So that there you have it. Just to add a little bit of positivity during your day. And well, evening, it's evening. And another thing I wanted to let you know is I'm having a training. A training, I'm going to have it in December. And basically, it, I'm going to teach you how to kick negative self-talk out of your mind. Okay? I'm really excited about it because the thing is, is negative self-talk, it can keep you away from your gratitude because your brain is just, it's picked up so much of that negative talk. Sometimes it's, you're just... It just doesn't seem clear, right? So how about we clear out your mind, get you a fresh start, and then boom. Now you can say, okay, I let out the old, I let out what does not serve me, and I simply am ready to put in what will. And simply finding purpose in your life. But having gratitude is so powerful. But join my group in the link below and I'll make sure that you get in that training. It's a free training, by the way. Um, I just simply want to leave footprints on hearts. That's really what I want to do. But um, that's really it. So I have some meal preps that I need to do. I'm not sure if anybody has commented or not. Oh, hi, Richie Ad Hoc. Let's see. Let's see what you said. All right, Richie, thank you very much for doing this and having this talk. I love it. Aw, thank you, Richie. I really appreciate you. And really, like, gratitude, it just, it opens up your world. It opens up your mind. It makes the world lighter and brighter and creates positive ripple effects. That's what it really does. So thank you very much, Richie, and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And... I do got to run. I've been meal prepping a little bit. My family's coming over for Thanksgiving tomorrow, so I'm very grateful. Um, but again, something else that I want to let you know is check on your friends. Check on a family members of yours. Again, we're still in this world of COVID. And the thing is, is it helps to check on your family because let's just face it, sometimes things are a little bit different, okay? Um, and it really helps when you are in that person's corner. And thank you, Richie. Thank you. I thank you. And I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving and take care. God bless and good night. Thank you.